Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Akash here and you're watching Tech Infinity. So in this video, we are going to have a look at the POSP room or the potato open source room for uh, the LG V30. So I'm using this one on my H930DS, but it should work on any variant running Oreo firmware. So if you are on the Pi firmware, you need to downgrade to Oreo to make it work properly. Also, if you are using a H932, then you need to flash a separate zip to make this particular room work on your variant. So dual SIM work perfectly here. And also Geo Volti or any kind of Volti or any kind of VO Wi-Fi will not work on any USB room. So it doesn't work on this particular room as well. And you also have the option for some status bar customizations as you can see here. And then you have some clock settings and you have smart clock option you have the option to show am pm you even have the option to show the date here and you even can customize that date format so as you can see here i have customized it so i'm kind of getting weird dots here so that's probably because the date is too long so it's getting shortened so let me choose this one this one kind of looks fine and I like it. Now let's move on. You have the option for Volti icon, but Volti doesn't work. And you have some battery style, style customization, as you can see here, hidden. Uh, so I basically like the Q style. Now moving on, you have the option to show potato sign there, but I'll just hide it. You can also double tap to sleep on your status bar. And here you can select the quick settings rooms, sorry, the quick setting rows and columns right here like this. So that's pretty dope stuff. And you have quick, quick settings pull down option. And you even have some network traffic indicators. So what this option basically does is that you can pull on the status bar from the right side and it will directly go to the quick settings. And one thing I did not like with the Network traffic is that it only shows up here. Uh, let me show you. Yeah. So when you just pull the, mm, what do we call it? Yeah. So when you expand the status bar and show up to quick settings, only then do you get to see uh, these indications. I wish it would also show up on the status bar, but that was not to be. Now you have some other options. They are self-explanatory. And now you have some custom theme options. So this is the main point of difference here. So let me just quickly go to Flutata or whatever this is. Mm, so I don't really see any major differences here. Now you even have the option for a dark theme here. So that's nice to see and you can even customize the icon shape system wide so that's pretty special as you can see here my quick settings have changed so this is a feature from android q but i really like that it's present here and you even have the option of having black theme instead of dark ones so that uh, kind of makes it pitch black and you have the option for having audio settings icons and tint and that kind of stuff. Mm, other than that, this is pretty basic standard stuff here. Now let's move on. You have some things about buttons and gestures. You have the option for using uh, these particular gestures. You can enable them here. Or you have the option to jump to camera, long screen torch and that kind of stuff. So that's pretty good. And you can even customize the power menu, control the playback, turn on torch, and you have some customizations for your notification as well. You have the stop list, blacklist. So this is pretty cool stuff overall. And you even have some locks and customizations here. So that's kind of nice. Uh, so when the music is playing, 
it will show you a cover art and you have double tap to sleep temperature face auto unlock so as soon as your face is detected it quickly dismisses the lock screen itself automatically you have clock style and these kind of stuff so this is pretty interesting and i really like how it looked on the lock screen and let me go ahead so let me just quickly see if this stuff is get actually getting recorded in the video so let me just sleep the phone and this is the lock screen let me go to default this is the other one then you have digital okay now you have analog oh that's pretty nice now you have sammy okay i forgot so this is the one and then you have the sammy bowl sammy bowl with accent so that's pretty standard stuff so let me just go on with that uh, maybe you just want to see all the features so let me just quickly show it to you okay yeah so this clock is also pretty dope and it looks really cool but to actually see the time i prefer the other one so you have sammy with the accent so the colors are different for the times and the hour and the minute so i think i'll stick with this one or mm, i don't know i guess this one is good and in the miscellaneous you will find these options like in call vibration options so that's pretty cool now moving on uh talking about the battery life the battery life has been pretty good for me so i would say overall it's been pretty good for me i have no complaints with it and PUBG performance was great with this particular room i had no issues with smoothness or any kind of lag and you even have this ambient display settings on medium settings i had no lag on PUBG. so you have always on option and i'm using this particular option and it works really well on this room i have no issues with it and you have the double tap to wake option all kinds of stuff you even have the night light but one feature i really miss is that it does not have the smart pixel option which i have come to really love and you have volume adjustment sounds charging lock screen lock sounds blah 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 you even have the option for half a quadrac and that works really well i've tested it but nothing's really different from any other room so no need to go into the details of that and i've been even testing a few google cameras here and there so i'll just give the link to the google camera that i'm using on this particular room down in the description below i'm not posting any pictures or comparisons really because i haven't really got any other photos to compare it with like from stock or anything else because i'm not really a big photographer but from next video i will try to kind of incorporate that camera stuff as well into the video but yeah the stock camera app that comes inbuilt into this room is kind of trash so don't really use that use the gcam i provide and then go from there and experiment with different google cameras so that's pretty much it for this video uh, if you really like this video please do hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel it means a lot to me and it encourages me to make more such videos and if you'd like to catch other videos like this i have a playlist made specifically for this that will be linked down in the description below so thank you for watching this video if you liked it well i've already told what you do Bye-bye. I'll see you in the next video.